Get hungry, Minnesota. Three new restaurants specializing in chicken have recently opened in the Twin Cities, and to celebrate, I'm taking you on the Great Minnesota Chicken Tender Challenge. My name's Brent Tim, and now, it's time to throw away your fork, grab some napkins, because things are about to get salty. They're about to get crunchy, they're about to get tender, and ooh yeah, baby, they're about to get spicy. We are headed on a chicken tender bender. Before we chow down and see which restaurant has the best tenders and which are just pretend I would greatly appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss a single bite from my journeys around the world. And now, a word from our sponsor. It's time to open new doors. It's time for new beginnings. It's time to take the next step. It's time to look ahead to tomorrow and time to embrace the possibilities of today. Sirdar Partners Real Estate Services. It's time to come home. Even though I only come home a few times a year, I still love Minnesota. And there's a gigantic place in my heart for Minneapolis because I spent some of the best years of my life here. And if you didn't know, Minneapolis has been through a lot in these past couple years. So many of my favorite restaurants have closed. So many people here are struggling right now. So I wanted to come back to the city that I love, showcase all this new and amazing food that's popped up in the city while I've been gone, and hopefully inspire a few of you to come out here and try some of this amazing chicken that these fantastic restaurants are serving up. The first stop on our chicken tender challenge is the newly opened Chicks in Uptown Minneapolis. So let's see what we have in here. We got six tenders. We got fries in here. We got some special chick sauce. All right, here we go. It's time for the main event. It's time to tear into our first chicken tender of the day. This is Chicks homemade special chicken tender. Here we go. Pow. Mm -hmm. This is a banging chicken tender. Where to even begin? The breading on the outside, very well seasoned and also very, very light. Super crispy though. Inside, the juicy white meat, incredibly tender. You take a bite into it, your mouth is just gonna get filled with all that delicious chicks juice. Woo! I can tell they spent a lot of time curating the menu here to make every single dish special. Here is the coleslaw, but this isn't that regular, typical, sloppy, mayonnaise filled coleslaw. Uh uh uh. This one is made with a honey jalapeno vinaigrette Cajun style. Because this is a southern style chicken restaurant, we absolutely cannot leave without sipping on some of their delicious lemonades. Check out what we got here. This is the strawberry basil lemonade, and this one is the purple rain blueberry mint lemonade. All right, Chicks was incredible. We're now walking to the next spot just a few blocks away. Julieta, where are we going? Side Chick! Let's go. Side Chick is the newest restaurant from beloved Minnesota chef Justin Sutherland. This is the biggest spread I've ever had in front of me in my entire life. We are taking a journey all the way down south. We've got biscuits, we've got breaded cauliflower, we've got mac and cheese, we've got the classic beans and rice, we got spicy wings, we got barbecue wings, we got honey sweet wings. So many drinks, so much food. Where to begin? Let's talk about the tenders first. Have you ever seen a sexier looking platter of tenders? First off, right here, with the white powder on top, we've got the lemon pepper. The next one is Justin Sutherland's signature 14, Catorce in Spanish, spice chicken tender. Next up, we've got the Korean barbecue chicken tender. Y'all know how much I love Korea. Super excited to dig into that one. And then finally, we're taking it up a notch. We're getting spicy. This is the Cry Baby Craig's hot sauce. Let's kick things off right away with the 14 spice. 14 spice, pow. Flavor explosion. I think I actually tasted 15 spices in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is so much going on here. Where to even begin? Immediately, boom, blasted with a little spiciness in there. Actually, a lot more spiciness than I expected. We've also got some like Cajun seasonings mixed in. I mean, this chicken tender is screaming southern fried deliciousness. Wow, wow, wow. It's also got a really nice light breading on top. Oh my God, the tender just falls apart in your hand. All right, here we got Cry Baby Craig. Mmm, this is succulent. What do you know about those cheddar biscuits, baby? If you go down south, you gotta have cornbread with a meal, you gotta have a biscuit with a meal. It's just the way things go. So that's the way they do things here at Side Chick in Minneapolis. Look at these massive cheddar biscuits. Oh my God, they look insanely large. Whew, look at that cheddar just kind of ooze off there and biscuit time. Mm. That is a massively delicious 
thick, fluffy, stacked and packed biscuit. Don't order the chicken here without ordering one of these on the side as well. Nicely done. We've arrived at stop number three on the Great Minnesota Chicken Tender Challenge. Had to take a few days off to recoup. We're back, baby. We're in Uptown Minneapolis now. We're at the Poor House, which is a crazy bar nightclub, but inside now is the third location of Nashville Coop. If y'all don't know about Nashville Coop, they are serving up some absolutely amazing fried chicken tenders. Julieta, what are we about to chow down on here? We've got a couple different flavors, a couple different spices. What should we start with? Let's go with the hottest one first, ah! right? This right here is the Cluckin' Hot. Wait, hold up, Whoa. you might need some dip, just no, in no, case. No, 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 oh my god, you can just see all the seasoning coming off it. All right. All right, Cheers. here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's spicy? Okay, wow, now it's coming up my throat. Is it, it? it is Cluckin' Hot. Well, thank you so much. We don't, oh no. <laughs> and now we get, now we've got the hiccups and the spiciness. Oh no, oh no. Delicious. Oh no. Blooper real. Delicious. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh, it's, hot. it's so hot. I, I can taste my tears. Okay, the clucking hot absolutely annihilated us. We had to bust out the coleslaw. We threw in some pickles to neutralize it. Yo, I'm kind of a baby when it comes to spice these days, but Julieta, what did you think of that spice? It got me. It got me in the end, I, I can't lie. We're gonna dial it down one notch. We're gonna go a little bit milder now. We've got their classic coop seasoning, threw some of the famous coop sauce on it. Wow. Okay, right off the bat, if you were to compare all the tenders we saw today side by side, you'd be able to easily tell which ones are from Nashville Coop because they are by far the thickest, the juiciest, and the plumpest chicken strips that we've had so far today. Our third stop, our, I don't know, 50th tender of the week. What do you think of these compared to the others? These are the spiciest. Mm, by far spiciest the spiciest, ones. by far the spiciest. Look at the color on these too. They're also serving up these massive chicken tender sandwiches. I mean, look at that thing. That is a work of art. And that's that. I don't think there's a single chicken tender left in all of Minnesota. We crushed them all. All right, Julieta, tell us one thing about each chicken tender that you really, really love. Oh my gosh, chicks. Loved how simple, classic, and easy it was to eat. Could eat it every day. Side chick. Oh my gosh, the flavors. Korean barbecue, crybaby Craig's, some of my favorite. And last but not least today, we got Nashville Coop. Holy moly, these are spiced the max and they're massive wings. Loved it. So, so good. We really, really hope you enjoyed this episode. Julieta, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much to my brother Blake behind the camera. My name's Brent Tim for Nashville Coop, for Chicks, for Side Chick. We're saying ciao for now. <laughs>